I made these lures at home, drilled some holes in it, put a treble hook, put a swivel, you know? This is why they call them spoons, because they used to be made of spoons, I think. Good morning, everyone. We are here in Delaware today, and we are going after some bluefish. Luckily, we have found some local friends who are giving us many tips, which are very necessary to our success here, because we've been here like three or four days, and we have not been able to get on any fish because the weather has just been not cooperating. It's been really windy. We've been getting sandblasted and the fish haven't been here. So we're very lucky to have found some friends to help us out. And hopefully Brendan will get on a fish today. So basically everywhere we go, this is a new fishing technique, or there's new like fishing trends slash secrets for each area. Does that make any sense? Get yourself bucktails. That's what everyone's using. Everyone's using bucktails. White and red bucktails. I can't teach you guys how to come here and fish. What you really need to do is listen to these tips, come here, spend a couple of days observing, experimenting, Talking and talking and talking to people generally people are pretty nice if you are if you're kind and respectful people will help you I just like this the one with the red head and all the spots on it that's still good so yeah the trout you got to use the five inch because those fish are on top of them rocks that one to the right of where your rod is that little bit of black don't even think of stepping on that because you're gone. Good to know. Yeah. That gets wet, you're gone. There's, it's like every two years, somebody, 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 will somebody die. has an accent. Uh, somebody will die. Loses out, loses their life. There's accents oh. all the time out there. And it's funny, oh. you don't even have to know the guy fell. You hear this noise? Did you ever and drop you know. a watermelon or a concrete? That's what it sounds like. That's what it sounds like when they hit the water. I mean, the rocks. Just like that. And you know the guy behind you. Oh. It's crazy what the fish will do to you. <laughs> You're gonna want to catch them for the rest of your life. Hey, that's and the there's way nothing that'll stop you. So we met this wonderful, amazing woman named Elaine, and she has been really helping us out here because she is the local fishing expert. You should have been here an hour ago. <laughs> and what I really admire about Elaine is She's basically like the only woman fisherman here and she is retired and this is just what she loves to do and to me that's so cool and you know she's been talking about how it was kind of difficult for her to fish here at first. You know some people wouldn't want her to be next to them and some people you know would help her a lot but just through trial and error and talking to other people and learning she's come to know this inlet very well and we are lucky to have met her. is picking up and you can definitely see it in the waves here. It looks like there are like boats have gone through. It's not, it's just the wind and the tide. Now that two people have hooked up on bluefish, it's like everyone jumps into action and everyone is like in the water now because once they're running through, they're here. <laughs> uh oh, fish on. Nice. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, what's happening to me too? No? 
these fish. I used the wrong one, huh? Amateur mistake. I bought the wrong leaders. So the difference between this and this. This thing, it literally just broke off. Just put your bucktail right on there. Uh, no, this now won't break this one off. No. They're gonna, okay. they're gonna see that, they're gonna see that shine and they're gonna hit it. They'll hit that white as well, but it won't break. Okay, thank you, man. Yep. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Well, there were so many, I didn't want to go. Two, three, four. I want another one. I want in on fish. Yeah. Right there. And there's another fifth one down there. All right, they came in and they came in hot. I see five people on fish right now, hooked up. Look, I will show you. I think I've ever caught. <laughs> there we go. There are, it's like, there's so many fishermen here and we're all hooking up to these, one after another. I don't really feel like staying here and talking, so I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go catch more. <laughs> all right, ready? We're gonna use this knife. Yeah. I made these lures at home, drilled some holes in it, put a treble hook, put a swivel, you know? This is why they call them spoons, because they used to be made of spoons, I think. Make a note, you don't want to use treble hooks. <laughs> oh, um, no, another note, I shouldn't have put treble hooks on, I should have put single big hooks, but uh, you live and you learn. Gone. <laughs> Broke my leader. Again? Yeah. Wow. It's a crazy fish. Stole my, my awesome lure. It's gone. Whatever. What happened? These fish are too strong. It, it literally broke. Here, take a look. It broke my sea leader off. It just broke it. This is some big fish here. So just looking around me, I can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten bluefish pulled up. Wow, it's been like five minutes. Everyone here also appears to be keeping all these bluefish, and there's no limit, no size. Um, you can keep ten a day, I think. Um, my question is, do you think these people are keeping them for bait? 
or keeping them to eat because I've heard not a lot of people like to eat bluefish. Now Brendan and I are gonna try to eat this bluefish in the next episode. Um, but why do you think all these people are keeping bluefish? Comment below. They get one million. One million. Whoa. These are big bluefish. Now if you if you take a look, these ones are really skinny. When they fatten up, they'll leave. They're in here to spawn. Now the males are real skinny. They're coming in here to eat a bunch of fish. They're feasting, they're mating, they're doing their thing, and when they're done, they leave. These are the female ones. They're fatter. But I mean, take a look, look how skinny it is. Right? Versus, versus this. Look at the belly. The knife didn't catch anything because uh, the fish are too big and it just bit it off. The spoons are too, whoa! The spoons are too light. Can't cast them out, it's way too windy. But right now, it got a lot of hits, but no good. It didn't cast well. It was flopping all over the place. Um, it got bit many times, but that treble in the back, I gotta fix that out. I gotta tra change that to a nice big uh, standard single hook. The wind's getting crazy. Uh, uh, it's been it's been pretty crazy. I, I was not fully prepared for the, the the size of the bluefish here. They snapped off like four or five of my lines. Underestimated the fish. Like I had steel leaders on too, but they were not strong enough. It, it would literally break through my steel leaders. These are some big bluefish. These are big bluefish. <laughs> <laughs> Your hair, it's so, it's blowing into my mouth as I'm breathing in. Okay. Bye. Bye. Um, all the people that we've met here have really helped us out and we've really enjoyed just being around and talking to them and uh, hearing their stories, hearing about their fish. And we want to say thank you to everyone who's talked to us and helped us. We really appreciate it. We truly could not do it without you. So thank you guys for helping us.